I would like to ask you on first idea about this program. So, what about, uh, so the, the, the event is, is real. So they made the challenge, but they had a cembalo and organ and other piano, of course. Uh, Handel and Scarlatti. Uh, but we don't know exactly what they did. So we tried to recreate using our fantasy uh, to, um, to try to, to discover this kind of challenges they, they did, transposing to the piano, and then of course we added something to play together because uh, just to, to make not so fighting, <laughs> but uh, not only fighting, but playing together and uh, make something more funny and various. And it is the first time when you play together in one concert? Uh, on this project it's the first time we do it. We have been playing uh, together before Mozart Concerto, And of course, we know each other for many years because we studied in the same uh, academy. You play only Scarlatti and you play only Handel, or uh, we, we are representing the composer. So me, I'm Scarlatti, and he's uh, Handel. But we are at the same time representing the the kind of repertory. We are not playing only Scarlatti and Handel, but Italian baroque music against German baroque music. This is what uh, we're doing. But we are just like actors. We are just pretending to be the composers playing. That's it. Are you friends a long time? I think we know each other for four or five years, something like this. As I said, we studied in an in a academy, in Como Piano Academy. And yeah, I think we both have a very different backgrounds. So Michelangelo is Italian, of course, and he has been playing, of course, a lot of uh, old kind of music, but with a very uh, special attention to Italian music. And my background is uh, I'm Swiss and I've been studying in Germany. So uh, I've been playing, of course, a lot of German music. So that's why I think the, the idea is working hopefully pretty well. Yes. And have you some plans to discuss with audience? T today on concert? Oh, we don't have any plan, but this kind of show is open show, so who knows? <laughs> If somebody is going to say something or... You know, there is a part we are just going to, improv to improvise, not only playing improvisation, but speaking and everything. We, we try to be something really not prepared. We prepared many things on the show, but there is a part that is open to everything. We don't know. <laughs> Yes, and could you shortly describe your next plans with this project or with some other project which do you prepare? So we're going to perform the same uh, program, or it's not really a program, but the same idea uh, of, of uh, the concert tomorrow in, um, in Usti. Uh, and the next time would be in September in Rome, and I hope it will go on like, uh, like this with uh, many other occasions. Yes, and do you play first time in Prague? Sorry, first time for me, first time in Prague for him. Uh, I've been actually studying here in, in Prague. Uh, it was part of a program, exchange program between universities. So for six months, I had the chance to, to study here in the academy with uh, Mr. Toperce and Mr. Klansky. It was a great uh, opportunity for me. It was 2002, I think. And also I've been uh, performing already, but not in this beautiful uh, hall here. Yes, and in your solo career, what do you um, what do you plan? Me also. Me, me, I'm finishing. I had to edit a, a recording of Scarlatti, but it's, uh, it's, it's not coincidence, you know. Uh, and uh, we are going to, to play many, many things in the future, but we don't know if uh, we will have the chance to, to play together many times about this project, but we hope. And, and what is important about this is uh, we can change the program every time. So we will have the chance, I think, to play a lot of repertoire of this period uh, with this idea. And you? Uh, yeah, I agree fully with Michelangelo, and it's true that uh, um, it's very exciting because, you know, in a um, kind of normal concert life, I mean, you have to play um, most of the time very similar program, even though it's great music, but this is a chance to make something slightly different with the music and hopefully to give something to the audience that they never experienced. And, and for us also, as Michelangelo said, it's a part of improvisation. So it's not like we know exactly what's going to happen in most of the case when we go on the stage, we have already a plan in our head how it's going to go. This time it's very open, so it's a, a little bit of a risk, but a very nice one, I think. Thank you very much.